Going on. Just take a moment. Really, try try to keep calm. Please. It's okay. What's going on? And what? what I, I don't know where I am. You don't, it's I don't okay. It, it's okay, really. Please. I don't know what's going on. Who am I? Oh, Rose. You're a doctor. Your name is Rose Ann Baker. Rose Ann Baker. Baker from your father's side, obviously. Anne was your grandmother's name, from the Hebrew for Hannah. It means grace or God has favoured me. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh. Uh, what? What was that? Oh, that's next door's boy. He loves football. He's always playing football. Would you like me to ask him to stop? No. No, it's fine. So, do you remember anything? Anything at all? I don't know. Bits here, bits there. It feels like... What? Have you ever had a feeling like you've been somewhere, like like a memory of a place, and, but you're not sure if you really went or just dreamt it? Real, but 
not real, perhaps a bit of both. I think we all feel like that from time to time. I always say memories are like the mirrors that we remember things through. My legs. What happened? You were coming to see me and your father. It was dark and it was raining. I didn't want you to come, but you insisted. I had an accident. Yes, rather a serious one. You were airlifted to hospital. Let's talk about this another time. No, please. You need to rest. Please, I just want to know what happened. They put you in an induced coma for six weeks. And then I came home. Yes, yesterday afternoon. I had suspected that there may be memory problems, so I took the decision for you to spend the duration of your recovery here, at home. Familiar surroundings and all that. I don't remember this room. You will, you will, I promise. Now, how about that tea? Yes. That'd be nice. How do you take it? Milk and two sugars. Wait, how, how did I remember that? I suppose it's what you could call progress. You did that on purpose, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> ah, now, how about that tea? Milk, two sugars. Please. <laughs> Wait. Yes, dear. What if tonight I go to sleep and... And what? I forget. What if I forget everything that happened today? Mother will help you remember. Always. Back in a jiffy. So, I phoned the hospital and I've arranged for you to have a scan on Thursday. Okay. Can't you finish? No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. What's that for? It's for the pain. But I'm not in any pain. <laughs> That's because of this, silly. Come on, arm. Now you're just going to feel a little scratch. There, that's better. Hold that. Now you need to rest up. Easier said than done, my head's all over the place. Oh, I know how you feel. I know it's been awful what's happened. It's so good to have you home. <laughs> night, night, Poppet.
sunshine, Poppet. Right. How about some breakfast and a nice hot bath? That sounds good. Mum. Yes, dear? What was that about last night? Excuse me? Last night I heard when you were sat on the end of the bed. Last night. Oh, Rose, it's so good to have you back. We've missed you so much. Back in a jiffy. Okay. Can I come in? Come in. Yeah, come in. I brought you some fresh towels. <laughs> How was your breakfast? Nice. It was nice, thank you. Good. What is it, dear? How can I remember how I like my tea and not remember? Ah, well, that's semantic memory. You're suffering from what they call retrograde amnesia, and that affects your episodic memories. Semantic memories deal with things like memories of general knowledge. For example, I take it you know what fruit is. Whereas episodic memory deals with your memories of past events. And as you've got retrograde amnesia, unfortunately all the events leading up to the accident will be inaccessible to you. How long will it take to recover? Full memory recovery? It will take time. I think we'll have a clearer picture when they've done some follow-up tests. You've had a very serious knock to the head. It's going to take time and you need to be patient and trust me. How long? It could be weeks. It could be months. Do you remember anything about the accident? Rose? Uh, it, it was dark. Yes, it was evening when you came here. Oh, I don't know, it, it was raining. I was upset. What else? Uh, oh, there's nothing, there's nothing. Come on, Rose, try. I am, um, it's just, I just. Rose? Don't just lie there wallowing in self-pity, feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not, it's just that... Oh, I'm sorry, it, it, it... Just... What? I don't... Yes? I don't remember you. As I said, it's going to take time. Call me when you want to get out. Where's my father? Oh, your dad. He's a lovely old man. He's, uh, he's not himself anymore. What, what about my friends? Friends? Yeah. H have I got a phone? A phone? I, I must have had one, a mobile phone. There wasn't one in the belongings that I was given. Perhaps it was lost or, or damaged in the accident. Maybe, I just thought... 
If I had a mobile phone, I could contact my friends. If they tried to call or have you told them, do they know where I am? Yes, but... They're all very eager to come and see you, but... Um... Rose, you've been in a very serious accident. You have so much to process. Too much. I, I can't have you inundated. Besides, what, what with Jamie coming tomorrow? What? Oh. Who? Who? Jamie is your fiancé. Fiancé? He's, he's lovely. He's really lovely. Bless him, he's been so worried. I can't. You'll be just fine. Just fine. He just wants to see you. Anyway, he'll be here tomorrow afternoon. I'll go and get the hair dryer before you catch your death of cold. Mum, wait! Mum! Too. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's Jamie. Yeah, that's me. Um, uh, my mum told me you were coming. Yeah, I got here about an hour ago. I'm, I didn't mean to... Um... No, no, no. It's, uh, it's fine. It's just a weird night. Um, where is she? Your mum. Uh, she went out somewhere. Said she wanted to give us some time alone. Did she say where she went? Uh, something about medicine for your dad. She um, she didn't think you'd wake up while she was gone. I'm already talking too much. Look, I've really missed you. I was with you every day in the hospital. But to hear your voice. Finally. Sweet. I have my moments. I'm really sorry I can't remember any. Yeah, your your mum, she she said your memories um, shot to shit. Not her exact words, but um, she said you don't remember much at all. I can remember some things. I mean, mostly basic everyday stuff, but I can't remember my mother, my father. Or you, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty much what she told me. What do I do? Y you mean, what's your job? Yeah. Uh, you, you work at a bank in in the city. That's how we met. A bank. Yeah, yeah. You're you're a cashier, and I'm a financial advisor. I advise customers <laughs> on. <laughs> Yeah, I know what a financial advisor yeah, is. Well, all in all, it's about as interesting as watching paint dry, but I met you. That's the important thing. So, how long have we... Maybe your mum's right. We shouldn't Women, rush this please. that. I feel completely confused. I, I'm so alone. Four years. My God. Yeah. We, we've been together for four years. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember. I... <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. No, please. Um, it, w it will all come back. It will. Um, maybe we should just slow things down. <sighs> my mother, she... What? I'm just trying to piece everything together, and there's my father, and I... What about him? Well, I haven't even seen him. Rose, um... This is a bit difficult. No, please. Okay, well... 
as far as I know, your dad had some kind of breakdown about two years ago, and that's when she retired. What kind of a breakdown? Look, Rose, don't take this the wrong way, but... Well, in a lot of ways, I'm in the exact same position as you. What do you mean? I'd never even spoken to your mother before she phoned me about the accident. Hello, Jamie. I think we need to have a little talk. I'd be lying if I said you and I had an easy relationship. You were, how did your father put it? A bit of a free spirit. I'd have said you were reckless and a bit of a madam. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you really think. <laughs> so, we argue. Oh, constantly. The neighbours were always complaining. Oh, I don't... The thing is, you wanted to go off travelling. I had no objection to that. In fact, I encouraged it. I just wanted you to save so that when you returned, you wouldn't be struggling. Oh, what's the point? You went off with your friends with virtually no preparation and not even a goodbye. So how long, how long did we not speak? Well, Rose, when I saw you in the hospital, it had been 10 years. It's Ninny. She was yours when you were a little girl. You took her everywhere with you. <laughs> Don't you remember? She was your bestest friend. Uh -huh. I think she's missed you. <laughs> you think? Hello, Rosie, Rosie, Woo. Oh, please don't call me that. I've missed you so, 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 so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. Why did you leave me all alone? Come on. You can tell me. I don't know. Well, guess what? I do. <laughs> you do? Yes, of course. It's because you're a very, very naughty girl. And you don't do as you're told. You really upset your poor mother. Don't look at her. She can't help you now. Oh, come on. Come on, what, Rosie Rosie Woo? Oh, please don't call me that. I think it's time you started to take more responsibility for some of the things you've done. What things? Hmm. I know a song you used to sing with mother. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man's snoring. He went to bed with a bob on his head and he didn't get up in the morning. <laughs> and, and there's another one, there's another one. Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clemens. You owe me five farthings, say the bells of St. Martins. <laughs> So, you can't remember it at all? 
I don't know, Jamie, I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh yeah, that's right, I already have. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm glad you were here. Well, here are the lovebirds. How is everything? Fine. Fine, thank you, Mrs Baker. Oh, do call me Mum. Sure. <laughs> Mum. I was just about to ask Jamie about our friends. You were? Yeah. Friends? Yeah, our friends. Oh, I really don't think that's a good idea. Nikki. I can call Nikki. Nikki? Yeah, Nikki. She's an absolute sweetheart. You and her go way back. Her boyfriend, Marcus, owes me a bit of money, actually. Nice guy. Bit of a dick, but nice guy. Uh, in all honesty, I really don't No, 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 do it. Call her. Nikki. She sounds lovely. Brill, maybe we can... Um... No! Now, don't push it too far, Jamie. I understand how excited you are, and you too, Rose. But the brain is a fragile thing. Too much, too soon, and... Yeah, but, <laughs> Mum, surely a phone call wouldn't hurt. I have been a doctor of psychology for 38 years, seven of those as a surgeon, and I've been a casualty doctor for four. Now, if anybody is going to know the best way to proceed, it's going to be me. Jamie, put the phone away. Now, perhaps you'd like to come and help me get some tea. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I'll be back in a minute. So, I have a surprise for you. Ooh, it's nearly going to serenade us again. <laughs> no. Oh. Where's it then? It's the obligatory baby photos. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, look at them. Look. Wow. Look at them. Look at these. Oh, can I have a look? Do you any memories? Not yet. Well, maybe this will. Back in a jiffy. <laughs> what is it? What have I done to this family? What do you mean? Uh, you haven't done anything. No. Then why does she seem so... broken? She's all right. Here it is! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Eureka! Who's that in the photo next to me? Oh, me, of course. She's a dear little girl. What happened to it? I don't know. I've got the negative somewhere. I'd like to see it. Oh, well, perhaps you will at that. Anyway, I think that's enough excitement for today. Yeah, yeah, I should be going. Where are you staying? Staying? You can't be commuting, surely. Yeah, afraid so. Well, why, why don't you stay here? I don't think that's a very good idea. Mum, it's a hell of a commute. I really don't want Jamie staying here. Call me old-fashioned. Come on, Mum, let's face it. Given the current situation, I'm hardly going to be creeping around in the hallway, am I? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. You would be surprised what obstacles can be overcome when the hormones are raging. Mum. This is the most uncomfortable moment in my life. Look, I can't stay anyway. I have to go back to work tomorrow. See? See? He's got work tomorrow. You wouldn't want him to lose his job, would you? Well, would you? No, no, of course not. Well, that's that settled then. I'll give you a moment to say goodbye. And there was me thinking I was going to let you have your wicked way with me. <laughs> yeah, about the kiss. I... You can do it again if you want. 
Really? No. Of course, Rick. Um, I have a spare phone and I'll be back in two days. I'll bring it and then we can stay in touch. Hello, Mum? Mum, can't hear you. Mum, I think you've rung me by accident. Hello? Right? I'll pop to the shops this afternoon and get you some medication. Okay. Like this? Of course. I blame myself. In fact, the whole thing's a bloody disaster. We never catch a break, do we, Rose? <laughs> no. Spit! Not in the bath! Jesus! In the cup! For God's sake! Well, some things never change. You're just as irritating as you always were! Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry, Rose. Uh, let me get you some fresh towels. <laughs> Back in the jiffy. You and me then, hmm? Careful you don't drown. Are you sure it's all right for me to leave you? Of course, I'll be fine, Mum. Rose, I'm sorry I hit you. I shouldn't have done. It won't happen again. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay. Oh, Mum? Yes, dear? How long is a jiffy? About an hour. Okay. I'll be back before you know it, Poppet. La, 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 la. Oh, Mum? Yes, dear? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> love you. Oh. 
Lara. Oh, God, it's so good to see your face. Are you okay? Are you all right? I... I don't know, bits and pieces. I, I remember a garden party and... Uh, yeah, that was Tim's 40th. It was, it was just before your accident. Tim. Yeah, um, yeah, Tim. He's, he's my husband, Rose. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I just can't... No, it's fine, please. <laughs> Don't apologise. It's... Oh, God, Rose, it's been about 12 weeks since I've seen you or heard from you and I've been so worried and... Oh, God, there's just so much I need to ask you and... Uh, Rose, I'm sorry, there's just, I just have so many questions. Me too. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Has, has my mum contacted you? Have you heard from her? or? Not since your initial, well, the initial contact. She, she sent me an email, but that is, that's literally all I've had. I haven't had anything since. There is something seriously wrong here. What, what is it? What's wrong? I don't know. It's... Oh, okay. I, I mean, I... I I want to come and see you, but I, I mean, I suggested it to your mum, but she, 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 she just flat out refused. Well, she thinks no. it could damage me and, the, like, harm my recovery. Recovery process? Yeah. Rose, I'm not an expert, but that's, that's not how it works, darling. What do you mean? Well, I mean, after we spoke to your mum, Timmy did a bit of research and... Yeah. So were you able to get it then? Get it? The medication? This was out there. Oh, oh dear, Mummy, do you not remember putting it there? Oh. Oh well. Well perhaps your memory isn't what it once was, but then. Well, as you say, the mind is a fragile thing. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. And a biscuit. Oh, you're playing with Minnie. Fuck you, Ninny.
sunshine. How about a cup of tea? Mm, yeah, that'd be lovely. Um, Mum, are you planning on going out today? What? I, I was just wondering if you were planning on going out anywhere? No, not today. You've got me all to yourself. <laughs> Jamie's coming tomorrow. That'll brighten up your day. Yeah. He's a sweet boy. A pity I didn't know him before, though. Mm, yeah. He's very good looking. I bet you can't wait to, you know. What? You know, make feet for children's stockings. <laughs> what? Grinding the corn. What? Do you still find him sexually attractive? Mum, I don't... Come on, you can tell me. I'm your mother after all. <sighs> so, we're going to have a nice roast. A roast? Yes, a roast chicken. Oh. I've just remembered. I really like roast lamb. But I don't have any lamb. Oh, it's such a shame, because that's really what I wanted. Oh, well, you'll just have to make do with chicken. But don't you think you might be able to go and get me some? <sighs> I don't even know where to go. You could go down to the shop that you went to yesterday. Oh, but that's too far to walk. You could drive. Oh, and the car's been all put away for the night and everything. Mm. I, I, no, I can't. I can't go. I can't get that. No, but... It would really mean everything to me. You, you should know that lamb is my favourite. Oh, I, I haven't got any mint sauce. Well, you could get the mint sauce when you got the lamb. <laughs> I really don't feel like going all that way just to get lamb. Well, maybe you could do the weekly shop when you went. I haven't got time. Maybe you could make time if it mattered to you. I... I, I it's not like I ask that often for things, Mum. True. Oh, does it... Can't, can't you just make do? But we had chicken yesterday. Oh. Oh, I suppose so. Mm. OK. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you.
evidence. Evidence for what? Someone was killed in that crash, Rose. There was a woman in the car with you. You're lying. Go to your room now. No. What did I just tell you? You're a crazy bitch. <gasps> My God. You monster. Go to your room now. No. It's fine. Forget about it. You were drunk when you got in the car. I managed to get your stuff back before the police did. You could go to prison, you know. I can't lose you as well as your father. He'll never be the same. I can't lose you too. It's fine. I forgive you. Oh, please, Poppet. Move away from the door. Give mommy a cuddle. I think I think I'll sleep in your room tonight. <sighs> Don't worry about it, I'll be fine. Oh, I think I will. Jamie coming tomorrow for Sunday dinner. It'll be marvellous. Like a real family. I, I know it's difficult sometimes, Rose, but I just want you to know I love you, my rosy wosy woo. I love you too, Mummy. <laughs> Oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clement's. I owe you five Farthings say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me? Says the bells of Stepney. I do not know, says the great bell of Bow. I've got to chop it to chop off your head. I've got a candle to light you to bed. <gasps>
bit of colour in your face today. Lovely. <laughs> I've done my hair. Do you like it? That looks lovely. <laughs> oh, that'll be Jamie. Back in a jiffy. Wine. Uh, just from the shop on the way in. Talking of that, how about a little tipple now? Hmm? Jamie? Uh, yeah. Rose? Oh no, you can't. I forgot. <laughs> Back in a jiffy. Hey. Jamie. What? This is going to sound really, really crazy. What? Th that's not. It's not my mother. Is this? No. I'm being serious. What? Rosa, I don't understand. You never met her before, did you? Before the accident? No, I... And when was the first time you... Did you actually ever see me in a hospital? The first time I saw you was here in this house. Search it, Google it, look, what? just look up. There was a girl in an accident and... What? I... Uh... Look, she told me that I was in an accident and she said that there was another woman that, that died. She said you were hit by a car. She said I was in a car crash. What? Your car is parked outside. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Look. What? Wait, wait. What? This is my mum. Then... What? Uh, who? Doreen. Uh. Rose. Mum. And Doreen. Next fucking door. She's your neighbour. I should call the police. What do I do? I don't know. Just go and see what she wants. Listen, I've got no time to waste at all. I need to know. Who is this? Um, why is this your mum? And this, who's this? That's, that's your mum's really, really weird neighbour. Um, Mrs Baker, I think her name was Doreen or something. Why? Why, why do you want to know? I need you to come here now, today. Okay, um... Okay, I'm gonna get my keys. Um, I'm, I'm coming out. What is it? What's wrong? Things are really fucked up. Please hurry. Okay, I'm, I'm, Rose, I'm coming now. Where is your mum? I don't know. It's just, just me, my dad, that weird woman, and well, Jamie at least. Huh? Jamie, my fiance. Rose, Rose, who the fuck is Jamie? Your mum was struggling with the bottle. Oh. Was that? Clara. She, um... She doesn't like me very much. Never did. Jamie, did you bring your phone? Mm-hmm. I think we need to call the police now. We could. Jamie, um... When was the first time you saw me? Was it here or, or was it in the hospital? Jamie, what's going on? 
only you weren't so... Curious. <laughs> she was on the phone to that Clara. Oh, Clara. I never did like that girl. Oh, she's on her way here now. Then we'll have to deal with her the same way we dealt with your mother, won't we? <laughs> mm. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. You see, retirement can be so boring at times. And jealousy is a very dangerous thing. And the desire to have a daughter can be overwhelming. It was your mother, you see. She was suffering from sleeplessness, full-blown insomnia. She needed help, hypnosis, to calm her down and rewire the brain, if you like. Then I had a thought, an idea. You see, it can be so disappointing to have a son when you've always wanted a daughter. <laughs> it's funny what life gives you, isn't it? A mother who wants a daughter and a daughter who doesn't want a mother. You should have seen her cry over you so many times. And you should have seen her expression once she realised she'd been quite literally stabbed in the back. I'm told it's quite the sensation. <laughs> Hello, Mum? Suggestion. It's a bit crude, but it works. I once had a client who had an irrational fear of heights. He's a pilot now. Can you believe it? I wanted your mother to reach out to you, to change things, so I could have a daughter. I won't be your daughter, not ever. <laughs> I don't want you as a daughter. I had hoped the whole process could be done more bearably, but it wasn't to be. I just wanted a new life, a better life for all of us. What the fuck are you talking about? There are other ways of getting a daughter. Jamie, run the bath. You really should have given him a go. Couldn't, even if I wanted to, which I don't. Oh, your legs? Oh, my dear, they're fine. It's just the relaxant. The effects will wear off. Eventually. You fucking... Yes. Yes. It was to be the miracle of the century. You start walking again and you fall into the arms of my dopey son. <sighs> Hypnosis. Yes, that and a cocktail or two to suppress certain brain functions. How? Would you like a cup of tea? You fucking... <laughs> That's my girl. You've got bigger balls than Jamie. <laughs> but it wasn't to be. Oh, it's your father. Bring some refreshments. <laughs> oh, some music. Oh, oh, oh. You were the top of the class. You had me hoping for destiny. But I was wrong. Just what did I see? Believe me, I didn't know I couldn't see what's in front of me A mortal foe No, I can't believe Oh no
turn the road is over now now you can see the worst side of Was wrong, it just won't open for too long or it will spoil. I had hoped, of course, that Jamie would give you a child by more conventional means, but needs must. Mm, the smell of the future. Oh my God, no. No!
Oh! <laughs> 